Good morning, everyone. This is Teppi Schwartzel, and I am with AridDesertDesigns.com, and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I'm here live from sunny Arizona. It is sunny, but it is really chilly, and it's supposed to go down into the freezing zone here tonight. So, um, if anybody lives here and they've got cactus, um, they need to cover them up um, or else they'll um, they'll really get hurt. Um, let me just make sure that this is coming up and it's coming up correctly. Bear with me for just a second. Let's see where it's going. Hang in there. And yes, okay, everything is fine. Glad to see that. And no, that's the old one. Okay. All right. Well, um, this is the brand new host code. Um, this is for the month of February. And um, this host code, if you decide that you want to buy any products for me and um, your order is under $150, then please use this host code. If your order is $150 or over, then please do not use this host code. You will get all kinds of goodies from uh, Stampin' Up. They'll give you re Stampin' Rewards and other little goodies. Um, and I will also be giving you something um, to use. Um, so uh, also know that if you go on my blog, this particular host code will always be on the right hand column and the current host code will be um, shown there. Now, one of the things that's going on right now is it's our celebration. This is our biggest sale of the year and it is on from January 1 to March the 31st. Now, and sorry, my catalog is um, very... Um, uh, very well used. And it looks like my internet is not working. That's not good. I don't know if this is going to record. So hang in there. Oh, come on. Other things are coming up, and it, but it shows it's not recording, so I don't know. Um, oh, there. Okay, let's see if it catches up with us. <sighs> I have a computer that needs to... I've got a new computer, but I have to get everything off of my old computer, and that takes hours, and I just don't have that kind of time. Okay, back to our celebration. Um, that it's going on from January, um, it started in January and it goes through March the 31st. And what it is, uh, this is our January, June 2020 mini catalog. And then we also have our annual catalog. Um, what you can do for a celebration, and here's the celebration catalog. Um, there are two icons in here. There's a $50 icon and a $100 icon. And you'll see the, the icons next to these products in this catalog. Okay? Now, if you spend $50 out of either the mini catalog or the annual catalog, then you can pick any product that has um, a um, free with $50 purchase. This one's adorable. Um, you've got the lovely lily pad. That that's that's good if you spend fifty dollars. Now, if you spend a hundred dollars, then you would look for this icon, okay? And this one is for the dies, and it usually goes for things like dies and uh, punches. There's a punch back here. Yeah, here's the here's the uh, small bl bloom punch. That one is you have to buy a hundred dollars worth of product, but you get this free. So, and if you, if you spend $150, you can either buy three or you can either get free three $50 products or one $100 product and a $50 product. So, um, 
that's this this catalog. If you need this catalog, please get in touch with me. I would be more than happy to send this out to you and um, the mini catalog and also the annual catalog if you need it. Um, I would love to be your Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Um, and the other thing that's going on right now is if you decide that you want to become a discount shopper, um, that would be a $99 kit. And that $99, you can then go in and pick anything that you want out of the mini catalog or the annual catalog and you'll get $129 worth of product free or $25, $125 worth of product free. The other thing that happens during celebration, this doesn't happen any other time of the year. They throw in extra things. What they're, what they're, oh, that's not, it's in here. Sorry. You will also get this cute little mini, um, uh, paper cutter and it's a guillotine type really cuts nicely you will also get this suite of paper that um is from the um, from papers from the suites that are in the january june mini catalog you'll also get your choice of a free uh stamp set you also get a one month subscription of um paper pumpkin free shipping, and they will also give you $50 worth of business products. But um, you do not have to do what I'm doing. You can do this as a discount shopper. Once you place this, this um, uh, demonstrator order, if you decide that you want to do the $99 kit thing, um, you will get 20% off of future purchases. Um, so that's another big deal. Um, that That's just awesome. Um, one of the things we're going to do today is we're going to be using the, uh, where is it? Yeah. The Peaceful Poppy Suite. I just think this is absolutely gorgeous. The colors, this the, the paper is what sold me on this. The other thing about this suite is there are two bundles. Um, a bundle would be uh, a set of rubber stamps and dies or a set of rubber stamps and uh, punches. This one has two, two bundles. You get the uh, designer series paper, peaceful poppy sequins, this beautiful white ribbon, um, which you can color to anything that you want. I, I purchased a lot of that so I can use it with other stuff. And then you'll get the Peaceful Pos Poppy Elements. Um, this is an absolutely gorgeous set, and I'm going to be making a lot of things with this set. Okay, this is the card that we're going to be making today. And another sensational year of you. And this is the inside. Okay. Now, what we're going to be using is... <coughs> excuse me. Um, we're going to be using, um, oops, black cardstock and the black cardstock is eight and a half by five and a half scored at four and a quarter. Okay. We're going to have designer series paper and the designer series paper is going to be five and a half by four and an eight. We're <clears throat> going to have whisper white and the whisper white is five and a quarter by four. And then you're going to have um, scraps of paper <clears throat> that you're going to be using for the sentiments. Okay, now one of the things we're going to first do is we're going to take our cardstock. It's I've already scored it. And take our bone folder. And crease it. Then what we would do is, hold on a second, let's get this stuff over here. These are the stamp sets we're going to be using today. Sending you thoughts, and we're going to be using the Happy Birthday sentiment. Uh, the Painted Poppies, we're going to be using this particular um, stamp. And we're also going to be using... Uh, this die, uh, get my take your pick tool. That's the only way I can get these out of here. Using this die to make 
these uh, sentiment labels. Okay, so I've already done that for you. Okay, and we're also going to be using, this is the Peaceful Moments stamp set and the P Poppy Moments dies. And what I used out of the Poppy Moments dies is this particular die and this is the cardstock. Um, as you know, I it was scored here at four and a quarter. Uh, yeah, four and a quarter. Yes, four and a quarter. Okay. Then what I did is I took the die, this die, and the smooth side is the upside, and I put the corner edge up in the upper left hand corner. Okay, and um, to run, ran that through the big shot and then turned it around and ran it through the other corner. Okay, so then you end up with that. All right, this is, this is a simple card today. Uh, I think you'll really, really like this one. And I just, I love the bright, I love the bright colors with the black that just sets it off. And I don't know, where's the other sentiment? Uh, another, so yeah, okay. Oh, that's already on my, 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 uh, we're going to be using another sensational year of you and happy birthday. Both of them out of the sending you thoughts. Okay. So we're going to put that to the side and we are going to be using, where did I put it? <laughs> I hate, oh, that's what I always lose this stuff. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is, and this kind of has a direction um, that you might want to take heed of. Um, a second, we'll, we'll score this one, we'll fold this one and get it. There we go. That may not have gone through. Take heat of. Um, sorry. There we go. Okay. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your multi-purpose liquid glue and you're going to glue it down to the inside of the card. And one of the things, you're going to glue it on the cardstock, not the designer series paper, because you don't want it to go through this. You have to work around these, um, these die cut areas. So we're just going to start over here. And I think we have to clean my glue off. Okay. And I, I love using the multi-purpose glue because it gives you some time to wiggle things around if you're not, you know, if you're not real good at placing things. I know a lot of, um, you know, demonstrators use the um, um, snail glue. I just am not comfortable with that. I'm not good enough at placing things and not having any, any time or leeway to be able to <clears throat> um, get it in the right position. So okay and it's gonna be this way. Okay so we're gonna put it on this way. <clears throat> And this pretty much goes from edge to edge. And look at that. That's just gorgeous. I mean, that right there would be fine. Okay, <clears throat> one of the other things we're going to be using today is... We're going to be using our Flirty Flamingo ink. <clears throat> and um, the front sentiment is going to be another sensational year of you. Again, that's out of the Sending You Thoughts stamp set. And, all right. Well, 
always kind of check it to make sure you've got got ink everywhere and I try to put my sentiment dye as straight as possible and if my head is in the way I'm sorry and we'll get that down and hopefully it's straight eh, pretty straight okay then we're going to use our simply chamois to clean off that stamp yes that's pretty gross looking but it does the job <clears throat> all right so on the other sentiment we're going to use again the Fleur de flamingo ink and we're going to stamp happy birthday Okay. And this is a tap, tap, tap. Don't, don't try to just push your stamp into your ink or else you'll end up with a mess. Okay, get that. Not ah, pretty good. Okay, <clears throat> use my chamois again. Okay, put that off to the side. And the other thing that we're going to stamp on the inside, <clears throat> um, and just so you know, the uh, this will be posted on my blog, and it will always also be posted on my uh, YouTube channel. And the dimensions and links to all the products that I've used there are going to be in the um, um, in the lower. Um, under underneath everything okay so now what we're going to do is we're going to take this lovely poppy and we are now going to be using uh, old olive okay and I just left enough room for the sentiments, sentiment um, die. And I stamped off a little bit at the bottom. There you go. And we're done with that. Shimmy, clean that off. And all this is, is um, I, like I said, it's just water in here. There's nothing in here that other than water and it cleans it off and it keeps the ink on there. So it's uh, much better than, you know, getting ink everywhere. Okay, so now, oh, one of the other things I'm going to do, one of the things I did do was I took the uh, Florida Flamingo and I took the sentiment dies and I just ran them through the um, the um, ink pad. I use the Fleur de Flamingo. Just to give it a little bit more interest. And if you look at it, it looks like it needs more ink. Just put more ink on. Okay. Same thing on the on the sentiment that's inside. This is one of my favorite things to do. It easily gives a little dimension to what you've been doing. Okay, let's we'll close that up. Okay. Now let's um, let's put the happy birthday. And I'm gonna glue that down. Um, because I really don't want any bulk on the inside of the uh, the inside of the card, so we're just gonna use the multi-purpose glue and glue that down. Let's see if I can get it straight here. Pretty good. Okay, and then we're going to glue this to the inside. 
Again, using our multi-purpose glue. See how you can move that around? It just makes it so much nicer, for me anyway. There you go. And isn't that pretty? I love I love the color of the other side of the um, designer series paper. Now what we're going to do is we are going to use dimensionals to, um, where are they? I've got to have one pack that's been used. Yep, there it is at the back as usual. Now we're going to um, put the sentiment up on dimensionals. I'm going to use four, then yeah, five, because I'll put one in the center. Just so it props up the center. And then I'm going to take my take your pick tool and take the backing off of these um, dimensionals. Collects these all in one place and then you can just put them in the garbage. All right, so then we're gonna center this on the front of the card. Oh, that looks pretty straight. Okay. And then we are going to take our rhinestone basic jewels. And uh, I think my, my bag has pretty much fallen apart. And I'm going to use my take your pick tool. And I'm going to use a larger rhinestone for the actual sentiment. Put that up here. You can put these anywhere you want them. You can put as many or as few on as you want. And I'm gonna use a medium size one over here. And I used, I, I try to work in odd numbers. It's just a design aesthetic that works really well. Um, I don't know why, but you know, everything's in thirds. Fibonacci is a, uh, um, a theory on thirds and your body is in thirds. If you look at uh, flowers, they are always in odd numbers. So it's just, I don't know. It's just what everybody goes by. Okay, now we're going to be using the uh, Old Olive Pretty Peacock um, double-sided ribbon and it's three eighths of an inch. You probably only use about three inches but when I'm making a bow or a knot or whatever, I usually try to leave it on the um, um, on the roll. Oh, I'm sorry, this isn't three inches. This is a regular bow. So that's probably about six or seven inches of ribbon. Um, I try to leave it on the bolt. Um, that way you don't waste as much ribbon. So we're just going to um, take the ribbon and you um, have it extended um, lower than your um, index finger and then you bring the ribbon into a loop and then bring the ribbon up underneath um, your index finger and then pull the ribbon through the the um, the hole that that leaves underneath your index finger and then you just start to pull the ribbon and you now you resize it and see you would have wasted a ton of of um, ribbon this way you kind of you can play with it until you're you're um, satisfied with the loops just pull it really tight and then just fuss with it it takes a few minutes but perfect bow love it every time Love it, love it, love it. And I love the colors in here.
Okay, and now we are going to use a um, mini glue dot. Almost done with this, this spool of uh, glue dots. And I always, oops, in fact, there's only two left. Okay, so there is a front side and a back side, but you can just decide which, which side you're happy with. Um, I kind of like this one as the front. And I'm going to go ahead and put two, two glue dots on there because I want to get, you know, when you get to the end of something, it's like, I just want to get rid of it. But I don't want to throw it away, so I'm just going to put two glue dots on here. You don't have to do that. <laughs> okay. Need to tighten that up just a little bit. Okay. And I'm just going to put that down here in the corner. And there you have it. Okay, um, the other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take a um, Whisper White envelope. It's the medium size. And we're just going to take the um, Old Olive ink and use the same poppy stamp. And who wouldn't want to get this beautiful envelope with this gorgeous poppy on the front. I just think it's they're so pretty. There you go. Now you have a matching envelope and people will think you spent hours on this. There's there's the finished product. Um if you don't have a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. If you need a cat, any catalogs, please let me know. I would be more than happy to help you out. Um, I, you have to be in the United States for me to be able to, to uh, represent you. But I would just love to become your demonstrator. Um, if you need any help, I'm on a terrific team. They are extremely helpful all the time. Um, and they are a lot of fun. So, um, again, if you uh, need to get a hold of me, please contact me. Either message me on Facebook or um, get on my blog and sign up at ariddesertdesigns.com. And um, I will take care of you as soon as possible. I want to thank you for coming to my live video. Please like and share it. I would really appreciate it. If you watch this on YouTube, um, please like and subscribe. That would be greatly appreciated also. Um, and uh, if you subscribe, that helps me make more, more free videos for you uh, and free tutorials. Um, these take a lot of time to put together and um, any help you can give to us independent business people would be greatly appreciated. I hope you have a great day and I hope you stay warm. Thank you for spending your time with me. I know it's, um, it's precious and um, I'll see you next Monday. Um, there will also be an amazing tip uh, sometime during the week. Usually I do it on Thursdays or Friday. That's not live, but it will be posted on my Facebook page and then to YouTube. Again, all the dimensions and all the uh, links to the products that I've used today will be on YouTube and my blog. Have a wonderful day. Bye.